Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Blazing X, and welcome back to Cosmic Chatter, where I get my personal thoughts and opinions on numerous Cosmeteer related topics. Note, these are just my thoughts and opinions, nothing more, nothing less. Do not go and say, oh, Blazing said this, thus it must be law. No, do not do that. I am not a cult leader. <laughs> go out, research, formulate your own opinions, and then come back and see whether or not I was right or I was wrong. But regardless, let us begin. So today's topic is going to be, I'm, I'm calling it the hyperspace effect, because it just, this topic has been wowing me for a while. And that is the topic regarding the recently established hyperspace beacon. This weapon change, or I wouldn't say, it's not even a weapon, but it's being used like one. This has changed everything as far as parts of Cosmeteer are concerned. For now, for example, I was recently, I had a, a recent live stream, and I had completely forgotten that uh, hyperspace beacons uh, existed. Because I just, you know, I'm thinking hyperspace, I'm thinking, okay, so you're just going from one point to another, that's fine. I'm not thinking anything of it, and the next thing I know, <laughs> there is a ship, three or four ships, sitting in my zone that just warped in and then warped out i'm like whoa hey where did you come from it was so it just caught me completely off guard and they it was emperor by the way for those who you were wondering and he came in blew everyone up and then flew right back out I'm like whoa that's amazing and so I, I sit i sat there literally astonished for a little while and it made me realize that this one little thing has changed everything in domination. There is, you can have actual tactical warfare. Like, you don't have, like, all you need is a hyperspace. All you need is one person with a hyperspace beacon and a whole bunch of people with hyperspace drives. And you can do whatever the heck you want. You can go wherever you want within half the time and not have to waste so much resources trying to build up a fleet. You can literally just warp anywhere. Like, I could, in theory, Put a hyperspace beacon on a on a um what am I trying to say here? A speedy mix scrub, send it to wherever I want so that I can clutch, and then I can just have them all warp to that speedy mix scrub. It's nuts, and that goes same thing for well not as much, but same thing like Cosmeteer campaign slash career. Now you can you can instead of having to hijack um all the hyperspace beacons, you can literally form your own hyperspace beacon. Which I find crazy. And it's made me rethink a lot of the ship designs I've already made. Because I'm like, well, do I want this now so that I can warp these guys wherever I want? And I I, I really do because it's very interesting to be able to do that now. Like, FTL for years in Domination up to this point has been useless to us. But now it's, it's not. It's a very valuable tool. Like, I bet you already there's probably King or Eric or Hollow or one of the m people that are very frequent on the channel have probably already implemented that apart from Emperor because of that reason. It's now a very tactically useful tool. Uh, <laughs> it makes me wonder. It makes me so curious as just what's going to happen next. Like, are we going to have, like, hitmen going out now? Like, could you imagine, like, a rail fan with a, with a hyperspace drive and, like, just warping in and out? Or, like, back in the day when I had um, Scrub 5G, could you imagine if instead of, it was, instead of sensors, it was beacons? And I just dropped them everywhere? That would be terrifying. No wonder they would want to get Scrub 5G network gone. And, and so, I, I really have to think on that. It's something that I am going to be implementing, I think. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for some of my content. Also leave a comment down below on an MA play or review next. And other than that, I will see you all in the next video.